What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the Whiskey Shed. Now it's been a while since I've done a whiskey review. I've just been so busy that I haven't had much time to put into this channel, but I'm going to try and rectify that over the coming months with some plenty of reviews for you guys. Now I'm going to kick back into it with a review of one of my favourite budget Irish whiskies. This is actually a special edition version. So this is a special edition of Slain Irish Whiskey. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, as always, I like to do a little bit about the history and about the bottle before we get into the actual nosing and tasting. Now, I've already covered the history of Slain and Slain Whiskey in the Slain Whiskey review, so you guys want to check that out. I won't go back into all that. Like I said, it's in this video. This is more about the special edition version. Now, as I explained in this video, Slain Castle or Slain is famous for its concerts. So the first concert happened there in 1981. Um, Lord Henry Cunningham, who, is, who owns Slain Castle, he's resident there, he put on a concert there. Now, it's an amazing place to see a concert. Um, some of the biggest acts in the world play there. It's 80,000 people. It's a natural amphitheater. It's right on the grounds of Slane Castle. It's an amazing place. I saw Guns N' Roses play there. It was the best gig I think I was ever at. So if you ever get a chance to see your favorite act at Slane Castle, definitely go there, check it out. You can also check out the distillery while you're at it. So that's what the special edition is about. It's um, 40 years, it's a legacy of 81, 40 years later, and that's why they released a special edition. Edition. It's technically 41 years later, but we won't say anything about that. So 1981 was the first concert there, and there's been a concert there almost every year. There was a few years where it was an exception, but like I say, it's an amazing place for a gig, a natural amphitheater, 80,000 people, the biggest bands in the world play there, and uh, it's an amazing place. So that's why they released this bottle. It's in honor of Henry Cunningham and the 40 years legacy of music at Slane. Now, let's get into this, and what we'll do in this review is actually compare the both of these to see what the actual difference is between the standard version and the special edition version. So let's do it. Okay, so like I said, we will review this one by comparing it to this one. We just contrast and see what's in it. Now, no cork for you today. Both of these are actually twist tops. So let's get them in the glass. Okay, we have the whiskey in the glass. Let's jump into the review. Now, what's the actual difference between the two bottles besides the label and this one coming in a box and saying special edition on it? Well, the original Slain, if you remember from the review, this is a triple cask. It's a blended Irish whiskey. It's a grain whiskey, so it's aged in virgin oak, ex-bourbon barrels, and sherry casks. And you can really get the sherry influence in this one. And my biggest complaint with this was I just wish the flavors were a bit more pronounced. Although it's an absolutely fantastic whiskey. It's a budget Irish whiskey. It's in around 30 euros. You can get it for 20 euros. One of you guys actually commented on the video that you got this in California for $17. That's an absolute bargain because it blows Jameson away for a budget Irish whiskey. Now, this one is 40 ABV. This one is 45 ABV. And there's more of the virgin oak cask in the blend in this one. So that's the difference. Higher ABV, more virgin oak in this one. It still has the Oloroso and X bourbon barrels as well. And I'm assuming those bourbon barrels are going to be coming from... Jack Daniels because Brown Foreman actually owns Slane and they own Jack Daniels as well. So this is already jumping out of the glass to meet me. I can already get the sherry influence. So let's go. First one on the nose. Yeah, definite sherry influence there. You can get those kind of dried fruits. This one has a lot more spice to it. I'd say it's more oaky. Yeah, a bit more vanilla as well. And it's a lot more pronounced, which is exactly what I wanted from this bottle. So let's just compare and contrast from the slain. Yeah, this is so much more muted when you compare it to this. This is this bottle, just dialed up a small bit, which is exactly what I wanted. So you can still get, I suppose, the sherry influence in this one is a little bit more pronounced. More vanilla, more spice up front, and then the sherry influence on this with that oaky texture. Really nice. This one is just dialed up a bit, like I said. I loved this. I really like this. So, on the palate. Yeah, flavors are a lot more pronounced. It's a bit more bold. That 45% ABV really helps it out. And you can really taste the extra virgin oak casks. You get a lot of spice from the oak and a lot more vanilla as well. The sherry influence is still there. You still get those dried fruits. It's like a red breast. If you love red breast Irish whiskey, you will love this stuff. It's not as, I'd say, potent as red breast or the flavors aren't as pronounced, but it's lovely. It's lovely, sweet, sherry, uh, spiciness, oak. You get all that and vanilla from this. 
So just to compare this, I like to compare two whiskies. I don't use uh, drink water in between because you can really taste the difference between a whiskey when you drink one straight after the other. But even on the nose, this one is so much more muted. Yeah, it's even the texture of this is a lot lighter. This one is a lot oilier. This one is a lot uh, less dense, I would say. Um, the flavors just aren't nearly as pronounced. They're all still there. It's a little less spicy, a little less vanilla, which is exactly what you'd expect. There's a lot more virgin oak in this, and that 45 ABV is fantastic. Um, the difference in price, it's about 10 euros. Now this is, like I said, some of you guys told me you can get this for $17 in the States. What an absolute bargain. If you see this, um, yeah, definitely pick yourself up a bottle of it. There was 2,900 and something bottles released in Ireland. I think it was an Ireland only release, but then I went on the website, it said it's also available in the US and the UK. So yeah, if you see this, definitely grab a bottle. If you like Slain, you're gonna love this. This is this just dialed up with a little bit more vanilla and a little bit more spice. So let's leave this on its side. We'll forget about this one now for a second. We we'll leave this for about 10 minutes, like I always do. We'll let it open up and we can see what else we can pull out of this. Okay, so having let it sit and open up for about 10 minutes, let's just see what else we can get from this. A mm. bit more wood now to the forefront, I would say. Still get that sherry influence. The vanilla has died down a small bit. Still kind of has that bacon spice to it. Yeah, very nice. There's a kind of a dark note I'm picking up now. Maybe there's a little hint of coffee, something like that, a dark chocolatey kind of note. Coffee, maybe dark chocolate, that kind of thing. It's just there in the background, but yeah, definitely a lot more oak in this, a lot more spice. The vanilla has gone down and a little bit more sherry to the forefront. So on the palate. Yeah, so the palate is like the nose now. Kind of blast of oak up front and sherry on the mid palate. Finishes with that kind of nice spicy vanilla. A little bit of peppery heat on the back. But all in all, a really nice whiskey, especially for this price point. And if you remember when you're buying this, it's at a certain price point. This is absolutely fantastic for the price you get it at. 30 euros, sometimes it's on special at 20 euros. I mean, for 17 bucks in the States, what else are you gonna get for $17? It's not gonna light your world on fire or blow you away, but you will really enjoy this and you'll be delighted you spend $17 on it and you can share it with your friends when they come around. They're not gonna be drinking your expensive bottle of whiskey. This stuff is made for sharing and it's absolutely fantastic. You won't be disappointed. This is better than this in every single way. This should be the core release. So if you guys are listening at Slain, we want more of this, definitely, that's lovely. So yeah, there we go. Okay guys, so there we go. That's been my review of Slain Special Edition. So this is the legacy of 81, 40 years of music at Slain Castle. And I really like it. I highly recommend it, especially if you like Slain. If you see this, yeah, definitely pick it up because you're reading one like this because it's just this turned up. So everything in this except better. Hopefully they release this as their core release because I really like it. Now, like I said, it's still at the budget end of whiskey. So it's not going to be big, bold, complex flavors, but there's nothing to object to in this bottle. It's lovely to sip, lovely to share. Uh, great for summer days, great for cocktails, that kind of thing. I think it's absolutely fantastic. You can't beat that for the money. I've yet to taste a whiskey at that price point. That's as nice as slain. It is mild, it is kind of tame, but all the flavors are lovely that's in it. This is just turned up, so this I think is where it should be at. This is a really nice bottle of whiskey. Now the price, like I said, you can sometimes pick this up for 20 euros. It's 30 euros normally in Ireland. This one I got for 39 euros, so between 39 and 45 euros I've seen it in Ireland. Now, alcohol in Ireland is crazily expensive. There's so much tax on it, it's just gotten to a point that it's ridiculous. So the prices don't compare to anywhere else in the world. So. You know, if you can get that for $17, I'm assuming you might get this for around 30 bucks. Uh, in the UK, maybe 30 pounds sterling or maybe 25 pounds sterling, something like that you might see this for. I'm not 100% sure of the prices because Irish prices now no longer compare to the rest of the world because we have a nanny state as a government. So that's where we're at. So uh, yeah, that's it guys, I'm gonna get out of here now. As always, we propose a little toast. Um, it's good to be back doing whiskey reviews. Sorry that I haven't got more out and I'm gonna do my best to get some more in, in the future. So, slang your moth, Makara, as always, take it easy and look after yourselves. And if you see a bottle of this, I recommend you pick it up. Yeah, more oak, more vanilla, more spice, more flavor, more of everything you like. It's lovely. Hmm. There's actually a little bit left in this glass too. It would be rude not to take it. See you in the next one, guys. Take it easy. <laughs>